stretched canvas always just always feels so nice getting you involved in the whole creative process but what doesn't feel so nice is this empty easel right here i have just shipped the three big paintings that i have been working on almost a an year so it's high time to paint something else on it Lately the main object, the main structure of my paintings are mountains, so it's time to change things a little bit. And what's the opposite of mountains? A seascape. And taste this one is a custom request, first I made like a raw simple sketch of how everything is gonna look to show to the client and discuss what the idea is exactly and the idea is that the main focus will be on the waves and on the ocean and a little bit of rocks in the foreground and just a little tiny bit sky in the highest part of the painting. The sky shouldn't be too vivid and take too much attention, so I tried to mix more subtle colors. This probably is one of my all-time favorite stages of each painting, applying the very first layer of colors over the bleak underpainting. There is just something extremely satisfying of laying down fresh colors onto the canvas and seeing a huge step in the process and this idea that have been only in your head now is being projected in front of you and it, it, it feels like a newborn, like the start of a new life. Pro tip, if you ever gonna paint the sides of the painting, do it as soon as possible and don't wait till the end because otherwise you're gonna have to mix all the colors all over again and you're gonna lose a ton of time. Speaking from experience, now a project that I have been postponing for way too much time. I'm the kind of guy that likes things to be practical and as much this table is useful and as much it's great for a palette, for painting on it, for making some projects on it, there is one big issue with it. It's too big, it's hard to move, the floor gets all scratched up, so it is time to fix it. what I'm talking about. Movable, practical, easy to use, good looking, my precious. Oh boy, do I love making this project. Now, let's continue with the main character of this video. <laughs> In painting and in any other endeavor, the first steps of the process are really encouraging and motivating, it's really fulfilling to see the immediate progress of your work and as I said, I love the stage where I'm using a big brush and throwing big chunks of paint on the canvas, just the gratification level there is up in the sky and it's only making you want to create more and more because you see the fruit of your work almost immediately, although it's not ready yet. To be honest, that is the easy part of the process and where everybody is so excited and stoked with their work, 
but then all the little details come and you're making small moves and you almost don't see any progress whatsoever in comparison to the big canvas that you have filled with colors before that in a matter of hour, questioning yourself if it's even worth it to continue with your artwork. This stage in the artist's world is well known as this suck, where you are totally unsatisfied with your work, but no doubt the most important part of the process is exactly this one, and you just gotta push it through, you gotta persevere and get to the other end. Though it is hard to do it when you don't have any motivation, so the risk of getting distracted or just taking your phone and start scrolling through social media is screaming high, at least in my case. So the way I find myself dealing with this never-ending problem is just by planning my distractions. If you can't escape it, just get ready for it. And no, not by putting your phone in a standby mode so that you can start scrolling up and down, but by planning and planting like a small creative and fruitful acts every now and then. And for me this would be painting for 30 or 20 minutes and then for 5 minutes editing a short sequence of a video or making a quick sketch or reading 5 pages of a book or crafting something quick and maybe it won't be always the same ratio as 30 to 5, maybe sometimes it will be 3 hours of concentrated painting or 50 minutes of making some DIY project. Just finding something meaningful to do that don't have to be big but will leave you with the motivation to finish the project that you have started. And that is why I love having this studio of mine, this creative space where from time to time I can distract myself with making something as a putting wheels on a table or, or crafting an attachment to an ISO or having another artwork in the going that I can work simultaneously and that would get me hyped on to create more and more through the lowest and darkest parts of the creative endeavor. I believe that we all have and are able to find similar small and meaningful distractions. match your Christmas mood, it's not the exactly winter type of painting, but other than that I really enjoyed the process, enjoyed how it turned out and I hope that you enjoyed this video and if so you know the drill, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet and to all of my subscribers, thanks for being patient with my consistency type of schedule. Well, what could I say? More videos are about to come, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video, next week or at least next year.